Welcome to the Lord's Table. Jesus was often a guest. He shared many meals with his friends and they long remembered his words at the table. Though some disapproved of the company he kept, Jesus ate and drank with all kinds of people and showed everyone the love of God. Wherever people met together, Jesus was glad to be welcomed and to be fed. Today, we are the guests of Jesus. He welcomes us wherever we are and whatever we bring, and he will feed us at his table. Old or young, rich or poor, joyful or in sorrow, Jesus invites us to share bread and wine with him, to remember the story of his life and death, and to celebrate his presence with us today. On the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with 12 of his disciples in an upstairs room in Jerusalem. The Gospel writer tells us what happened that night. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them and they all drank from it. And he said to them, this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. I tell you the truth, I will not drink the wine again until I drink it new in the kingdom of God. We are the friends and disciples of Jesus today. He invites us to break bread together, to remember him and to pray that God's kingdom will come. Let us pray. God is with us. We give thanks and praise to God. Loving God, the world you made is beautiful and full of wonder. You made us with all your creatures and you love all that you have made. You gave us the words of your prophets, the stories of your people through generations and the gathered wisdom of many years. You gave us Jesus, your son, to be born and to grow up in difficult times when there was little peace. He embraced people with your love and told stories to change us all. He healed those in pain and brought life to those who had lost hope. He made friends with anyone who would listen and loved even his enemies. For these things he suffered, for these things he died, and he was raised from death and lives with you forever. You give us your Holy Spirit to teach and to strengthen us to remind us of Jesus Christ and to make us one in him. For all these gifts, we thank you and we join with all people on earth and in heaven in joyful praise. Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. We praise you that we are here today around the table of Jesus. We have heard the good news of your love. The cross is a sign of your arms stretched out in love for us and the empty tomb declares your love is stronger than death. Send your Holy Spirit upon this bread and wine and upon your people, that Christ may be with us and we may be re made ready to live for you and to do what you ask of us today and every day to come. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the love of the Creator, one God, to be, whom be glory and praise forever. Amen. We eat the bread. Receive this bread as a token that Jesus loves you and died for you. Amen. We drink this wine. Take this wine and let Christ cleanse you and fill you with his love. Amen. It's difficult to share the peace in a very personal way when we're like this, but I wondered if we could perhaps just have a few moments silence when you can think of someone or some people, a family, perhaps friends in particular, who you feel need a touch of God's peace at this time. And let's pray God's peace on them silently, if you'd like to do that now. And then when I say peace be with you, perhaps you could just respond either silently or out loud, peace be with you, with those people, 
and your loved ones in mind. Peace be with you. Eternal Father, we thank you for inviting us to your table and feeding us with bread and wine. We thank you for all those who down the ages have done this and shared in this tradition and found all that you offer, the light of your love, your presence, your forgiveness and your blessings. We thank you in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you with joy to take to those in sorrow, with peace to take to those in trouble and with love to take to those whose lives are empty. May God be with you to take your hand and to guide you in his work. Amen.